Ah, uh, yes. Game Jolt. My favorite and least favorite site on the internet. A cesspit of toxicity where some of the best and worst people come together to celebrate everything indie. Now, cut the damn music. We aren't here to talk about celebrating. We're here to talk about loss. Specifically, lost fan games. My favorite subject. Alright, everyone. Gather around the campfire. I have something wonderful to tell you about today. Have any of you guys heard of the fan game Five Minutes at Lucky's? You're lying, of course you haven't. The developer of that game quite literally vanished off the face of the earth six years ago. And what they left behind was... Well, nothing. The game jump moderators took it down. This bitch is off the grid, man. But, what he left behind for those who were around during the time following those projects was something that was... a bit of an oddity. Let's get into it. It was 2015, the year of... What happened in 2015? <clears throat> okay, um, so that was the year that FNAF 3 came out. Everyone's least favorite entry in the entire series at the time. And then, on the magical hell site that we call Game Jolt, emerged a game that no one could have ever foreseen. The teaser said soon, and next to it was a strange looking animatronic. People immediately called it Toy Freddy. <laughs> and then, the Game Jolt page appeared. What on God's blue earth am I looking at? <laughs> no! What did they do? Okay, okay. I'll be fair. A lot of fan games at the time didn't really look all that great. But they had a charm at least, okay? I, I don't know what I'm looking at here, but it doesn't look very charming. And yet... It was on April 2nd, 2015, when we finally got to see a snippet of the gameplay from this game. And it's... I... <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. The gameplay looks like horse shit, that was swallowed by another horse and then shit out again. That's the nicest way I can put it. When dropped into a night shift, you were tasked to survive until 6am, like most of these games. However, the first thing you may notice is the fact there's no camera buttons. Do you want to, do you want to take a guess as to why? It's because the developer thought it would be very ergonomic to have one and two and three, those keys on your keyboard, be the camera buttons. What was he thinking? So you switch around the three cameras, one of which is never actually shown in the game, and then you put your camera down and flash your light in the hallway. That is the entire gameplay loop. I don't think that any defense McEntry even ever programmed into the game because the developer wanted to get a video as fast as he could on it. It's ridiculous. Oh! Oh yeah! Oh! It's a funny story actually. Let me tell you all about Lucky. Lucky is the worst, okay? His design is actually fine. I like his design. It's his AI, which is the biggest stinker this game has to drop into the shit smeared toilet of FNAF fan games on Game Jolt. What he does? And finally, the game was in such an unfinished state that the game does not even have a night indicator or a time indicator. You are left totally in the dark without any way of telling how close you are to actually finishing the game. That is how bad it was. We don't have very much to go off of because the developer has gone at this point. But based off what I've seen from the video, I'd rate this game like a 2, 3 out of 10 maybe. I have no idea why I even decided to publish this video in the first place, because it was so unfinished. Like, that's the bare minimum, man. Come on. Watch Squeaks the Corgi! 
Why did the developer get paid a fucking job? I'm glad you asked, Grandma. The reason the developer ended up getting banned off of Game Jolt was because he ended up posting snuff. I, I'm not joking. Like, he posted... I, I think it was a link to a shock site. And people clicked on it. People reported his account. And the account got banned. Yeah. Ain't that lovely. This man was like the Tyler Alstrom before we had an actual Tyler Alstrom. It was crazy. And the saddest thing is, his game went along with it. Sure, it looked horrible. It was horrible. It even smelled horrible. But that's a game that still had a lot of thought and effort put into it. At least I'd assume. And all of that effort is just gone now. So, I must humbly request from you, my viewers, a bounty on Five Nights at Lucky's. If I can get one copy of the game, uh, I don't know, I'll shut you on the video or something, I'm, I don't have any money.